All right, uh, Chainsaw Massacre fans, I've got a, a special treat here for you. Uh, before I get started, I want to uh, first and foremost uh, say thank you to my brother Blake uh, that helped me with this a lot. Um, you know, he uh, he did a lot of hard work and doing this project. You know, uh, to me, I don't know how the rest of you feel. Part one. Part two and part three are the only ones that are worth the damn. I'm a huge Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan, but if you truly think about it, yeah, you know, the remake, yeah, it was okay. The beginning sucked, and we're not gonna talk about Texas Chainsaw 3D. Uh, I mean, it could have been a lot better. Dan Yeager did a great job for you know for what he had, so I'm not gonna talk shit about Dan Yeager. Um, hopefully he can do a really good job on the next one. But what we're here to talk about here is the three saws, in my opinion, are the epitome of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. The first one here, I've got this done to specs of the movie. This is a Poland 306A that's had custom work done to it. We've got some smudge marks here. We've got a simulated crack right there. Supposedly, when Leatherface fell from getting hit by a wrench, the frame cracked and uh, kind of cracked the aluminum. Also here, we have the muffler from a 245A, which is there. Also, handlebar as well from a uh, Poland 245A as well as the carb cover and fuel tank handlebar trim and uh, uh also too we trimmed down the handlebar trim up to levels from the specs of the movie so that's pretty damn accurate also if you look on the bar we've been doing research those weren't straight lines there we looked up as close as possible. Those are the shapes that are there from the pictures we've seen, as well as all of these oil spots. A little bit of a spot there. And then you have the burn mark towards the front. That sound is so sweet. This bitch is loud, too. But I love it. That's, uh, in my opinion... The epitome of what a chainsaw should be. I mean, it's just fantastic. We got uh, logos covered. Everything's done right. Uh, we also have a little bit of a uh, black, little charcoal dust in there from the pixel we've seen. That's the first one, part two. This is a Polan 4200 or 5200, whichever you want to say best. This here. That is a color that we found. It's called Real Orange. What we've done with that is we've added three to four layers of that. And if you, you can kind of see some green here. We left that because in the movie, you can clearly see this green coming through the paint. And from the back, you can see a little bit of the green there. We left that purposely. And also here... You know, right around there, you see, right around there, you see a little bit of green. There's just a tad under the handle, not too much. And on the uh, little bit on the bottom, we also left the screws green as well. And in the fins, you can see a little bit of green. You know, just small little touches um, on the bottom of it. You know, there's a little bit of green, mostly orange. Of course, we've got the metallic silver that's nice it's got just a small amount of flake to it and up top here we had the uh, handlebar it was about right there we cut all that off to movie spec so that is right there where it should be but that's got a uh, 28 inch bar on it I'm not for sure if the movie had a 32 inch bar, but you know what? I'm just gonna stick with that. You know, that's 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 all I need for it. 
And then when you want to get into some crazy detail, this right here. I've made a video on this before. This is Neil Oliver's work of art. This is the Steel 034. This is the uh, special edition Excalibur Chainsaw Tinker special edition built by Neil Oliver. Big difference with this, it's a deep rich chrome paint job. Um, all the brass on it's highly polished. Um, it's got uh, some characteristics, some marks here, and the 36 inch bar on it, custom chrome dipped. Um, I just got a brand new chain on it. That chain is a steel chain, 114 drive links, full wedge and full skip. There's some nasty, uh, nasty teeth on it. I actually say use with caution. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to show you the other side. As you can see the front, it's nice looking. Well, it's a beautiful blade right there. That's one of the, one of the nicest bars I've ever seen. Then we have the part two. We did all, Blake, uh, my brother, did all that work today, man. I mean, I'm telling you, I couldn't ask for a better uh, color combination. I mean, we went and looked and, and looked for colors and uh, man, it worked out perfect. It may look kind of bright right here. That's because the lights are real bright right now. But in the daytime, God, it looks good. See, we left a little bit of the green accents right there. We try not to make this to make it look brand new. Because in the movie, it didn't look brand new. So that's what we did. looking saw though and of course back over here to this beautiful work of art chrome dipped handlebar custom chrome paint just extremely polished brass leather wrapped handle I'm very happy with these projects you know I'm a huge Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan, and you don't get any better than these three saws. Oh yeah, right here, I've got a black cap that's in the process of drying. It goes right there, and it's 100% complete. The saw is two movie specs. But uh, I just wanted to show, you know, the collection I have is beautiful. And I've never seen any of those uh, mocked up like that on the internet anywhere. I don't know if y'all have seen anything like that, but I haven't. But uh, this is my brother Blake. Blake, say a little something. Do what I do. He's the artist. Um, he did my paint job on the Poland for part two and uh you know we have some small tinkering we haven't clear coated this yet we want to add some normal wear and tear scuffs you know because the movie you can see scuffs pretty much in random places so we're still going to work on that uh we're still working on that to make it a little bit more accurate we're going to dirty up the bar just a little bit more we're going to age it um <laughs> i'm not touching that as y'all can see, that is, uh, man, that's, a, that's, that's a, some Picasso shit. But, uh, yeah, I just uh, wanted to see what y'all thought, man. And I just love that flaked metallic look on that muffler. I mean, if you watch the movie and you look at that, dude, that's, that's spot on. 
and from the part one you've got also, the if you look at the uh, black and white photo you can google it yeah there's an actual photo of Leatherface holding the saw he's kind of posing you can see all those oil spots as well as that spot there you know you've got the uh, the hot marks there if you just look it up you can see it you know we tried to uh, you go you know again you got the white spots here we've got the crack here I mean we uh, we we've, we've done hours of research on this and uh, I think we've nailed it but if anybody's got any comments we'd highly appreciate it because we want to see what everybody thinks God that is a it's a sexy sight though <laughs> but uh, thank y'all again for uh, taking the time to watch the video and I'm gonna be making more videos soon as things change but they're gonna change for the best so uh, thank y'all and uh, hopefully I'll see some comments it's always family.